the moment I came into college, I had watched enough movies, read enough College Confidential, and talked to enough alumni to know that college is where I was going to find my true self. I was craving so much to be independent and eager to not have to depend on anyone. I'm a fourth year now, and I really wish I didn't come in with that mindset. For me, coming into college, I was almost certain of the path I wanted to take, business, and I was going to do everything in my power to get there as quickly as possible on my own. Despite the seeming lack of resources, I continued to search for ways that I could grow through classes, books, workshops, seminars, you name it. So in my winter quarter of my freshman year of college, when I was able to land a really competitive marketing internship despite competing with upperclassmen, I honestly felt like I had made it. That was it. And similar to Devonshi, I felt like I had to learn everything myself. I spent hours every day taking marketing certificates, watching YouTube tutorials, trying to learn the ins and outs of marketing on my own. And when I finally landed my dream internship at Amazon, I was so excited and felt like I had achieved that golden independence and accomplishment that I was looking for in college. But that feeling quickly went away. And again, I felt like I had made enough opportunities for myself and that was all there was. I didn't really know how to grow myself anymore, and I couldn't figure out what was next. I was going out of my way to find more professional opportunities and to learn more concrete skills, but by doing that, I was really missing out on one big thing, building connections with people to fuel my own growth. Both of us felt like we had learned what we could learn on our own. I took all the certificates. And I read all the books that I could on my own. And we both had that same question. Now what? That all changed in May when I reached out to Amy for a 20 minute coffee chat. The quick chat ended up turning into a series of hour long calls for the next couple of months. We shared how difficult it was to find professional opportunities at a school that didn't have a business program. And all of this conversation led us to realize that actually a ton of UCSB students faced a similar struggle. We reached out and met tons of students with specialized skills in business, entrepreneurship, and design. They were all experts in their own craft who had so much to offer, and they had so much energy and passion, but nowhere to channel it to. So we created Gaucho Creative, UC Santa Barbara's first and only student-run marketing consulting group. I alone would have never been able to start Gaucho Creative. If you've ever met me, I'm a risk taker. I take ideas popping here and there. I don't plan, I don't outline. I strive off of ambiguity and learn on the way. And what that means is I suck at taking notes, staying organized, and I would always lose track of the details and chase for that bigger picture. And if you've ever met me, I love big ideas, but I over plan almost everything. I'm always looking for concrete structure and ways I can get there. I suck at letting go of the little details and I hyper-focus on the little things. And I need to make sure that everything is perfect before doing it. But our talents, they synergize together perfectly. I would bounce ideas off of Devanshi, pitching new ways we could get clients, how to engage students. Devanshi would process it and then map that project end to end so that we would remember after our four hour long calls each day and have an actionable plan. By merging our complementary skills together, we created strategies that were both large at scope but also detailed in action items. And through Gatcha Creative, we're able to provide a space where students can come together to further their business knowledge and they're provided recruiting support and professional development unlike ever before. It's all about synergy. The more differentiated, talented people you surround yourself with, the more you're gonna learn and the better you're gonna do. Amy and I both felt like our personal growth was stifled when we tried so hard to rely on ourselves. Our goal was to perfect our craft in everything and take on every challenge on our own. And in our mind, that was the only way to succeed. But when we decided to work together, we collaborated to create something that we could have never done individually. In turn, I learned that I may never be as organized and detail-oriented as Devonshi, but now I'm more confident in seeing that my big picture ideas could actually be implemented into something real. Through all of this, I found someone to bounce crazy ideas off of in a judgment-free zone. And in turn, I could take my crazy planning every little detail self and just make it happen. Look for the people that fuel your talents and are unafraid to learn and grow with you. And I know everyone just tells you to do all these arbitrary things. So I wanted to give and provide you guys with some actionable items 
that you can do and implement today. So here are three things you can do to find people that help build that best version of yourself. So the first most obvious thing you can do is to find communities that fuel your own personal growth. Here's where it's less obvious. These communities aren't restricted to your professional frats or your dorm room floor. You can find a community just about anywhere. So think bigger, find online communities. For example, if you're super interested in venture capital, join the Gen Z VC Slack group. Yes, that's a thing. Or if you loved thrift flipping, get on Thrift Talk. Once you're involved in these communities, put the work in. Get to know the people you're around on a one-to-one -one level. Schedule coffee chats, shoot your shot on Instagram, and go above and beyond to learn from and with your peers. The next thing you can do is reach out to those people you admire and ask the right questions. Reaching out to them on LinkedIn or send them a cold message. Share your roadblocks and personal or professional struggles, appropriately, of course, and lean on someone who's been there to guide you through what you're facing now. It can be really intimidating approaching people you admire, so be sure to do your research on the background and expertise and be prepared with questions that really make them sit back and think. It's also super important to remember that sometimes you're not going to be able to find your perfect fit right away in terms of communities or people, and that is completely okay. In this scenario, you can do two things. Number one, keep putting yourself out there and putting yourself in uncomfortable situations because those are the best opportunities to grow. And number two, if you've really been looking a while and can't find a community to truly fit your interests, build your own, just like we did. We're not gonna lie, it was not easy at all, but it was so, so worth it. Nothing was built by one person alone, and similarly, you're unable to even build that best version of yourself alone. Surrounding yourself with the right people really accelerates your growth more than you think it does, and in that process, you'll be able to meet incredible people and create something and feel something bigger than yourself. You'll meet people that you can learn and grow with. At the end of the day, there's only so much you can do and learn on your own. You have to venture out and seek those people. When it comes to your college career, find people that bring out the best in you. The amazing thing about college is that you're meeting so many people. So take the opportunity and make something you may never have on your own.